Hello everybody, this is Dream Gamer back to kick off round 4 for Group G. Group G are arguably the tightest group in the group stage thus far. Right, in this session we are going to start off with Dino Smash going up against the Light Fury. Defeat for the Light Fury here will end their stay in this tournament, but a win will get them right back in contention. Then we will see Nopi going up against Arctic Warriors. A clash at the top there, the winner will go through to the last 32 round. Then we'll see the Skrill taking on Try. Let's get on with the first match, shall we? Right the O then, in the red corner for Mr. Dino Smash, we have got the Ferrazinosaurus. Dino Smash smashing his way through against Try in round three to put themselves in a much healthier position than, the, than they were at the start. In, at the start of round three. Ferrazinosaurus was key to that, but the Diceratops was the, was the more important component in that victory. Okay, we are on the meadow field, which is actually very good news for the Light Fury. Because they have a grass dinosaur. Light Fury winless in this tournament and, well, has to win this match. If they lose here, it's game over for them. In the blue corner, for the Light Fury, we got the Lexovasaurus. Yeah, Light Fury not really happened so far. They've kind of been underwhelming. But a good opportunity to bounce back here with the terrain advantage that the Super Paris will have. Oh, not, not another Coffin Fit. I can feel another Coffin Fit coming. Ugh. I'm terrible. Ever since Christmas, I've just been having this lingering cough. It's like... I feel like a smoker. They don't even smoke or nothing. Right, back in at the Lexivasaurus, we got Super Paris, Awaker Mode on two. That Awaker Mode could come in handy with the terrain advantage on top. Although, I don't think you'll ever get a hit. Well, actually, you could, because you could have... You, your dinosaur could have... Well, your opponent's dinosaur could have terrain disadvantage over your dinosaur with the has the Awaker Mode. So, in theory, you could get a... You could get the hit there, but anyway. Jabbering on, let's go with this match. And both guys, I believe, want to... Oh, no. Light Fury in the yellow. Dino Smash below half. Oops. Mm, Lexovasaurus starting with the first hit. Won't do much damage, though. This Ferrocinosaurus can be a tank. And I suppose that was Dino Smash's strategy here. With a defense boost, attack boost, tech boost, making it a claw swipe in tank. Well, it's not getting any hits so far, and it's a strong start from the Light Fury. And they need it. And it'll be time to swap out the, the um, Ferrazinosaurus. Giga Rock Hammer coming in here. Blah! Okay, definitely time to swap the Fairy Act, but will Dino Smash get that swap? The answer to that is yes. Light Fury gonna get this, gonna get hit for the first time in this match here. Oh yeah, we gotta get through the attack, defense, and technique boost first. <laughs> gonna be here a while. Right, Diceratops comes in now. And it'll be time to swap into the Super Paris. Oh, but the Lexovasaurus isn't going to get it. Stomping Hammer's going to come in, yeah. Well, this Lexi does have type advantage over the Diceratops, but the Diceratops is going to land a crit there. Oh, it killed it. Never mind. <laughs> okay, Paris will get the first hit, though, because of the terrain advantage. And he'll get a Waker Mode next. Well, not good, but after, the, after this hit, which will be a crit. Oh, the Light Fury, after a good start, Dino Smash turning it around, but this might get the Light Fury back into this. Boosh! Got the Awake Remote to come, and Dino Smash will attempt to swap. Well, this is crucial here. Dino Smash gets a hit here. I feel that's going to be game over for Light Fury. If Light Fury gets the hit, then, you know, that is on. And Light Fury gets the hit! Stops the swap! Dino Smash loses Diceratops. Although, the Paris will lose half her health. So, we're pretty much level back in anyway, but... Oh, that could be crucial. Oh, the tie! Ties will suit Dino Smash, though. 
Another tie, that's not good. Dino Smirk. Well, Light Fury will get at least a losing bonus point, but they need more and they might have more. Has, have they secured the win? The Fairy is tanked up here with a defense boost and a defense type. Okay, no. <laughs> and it is Light Fury getting their first win of the tournament. A massive result for them. Massive result. And it keeps their hopes alive. Wow, just when you think people are on the brink of defeat, they get our crucial win to just give themselves a fighting chance. But Light Fury getting off the mark in this tournament with their first win. Dino Smash, however, will get a losing bonus point. And in a group as tight as this, that could be crucial. Right, on to our next match. I tell you what, what that losing bonus point has done is put Dino Smash above Arctic Warriors and Tri by virtue of the fact that they beat that he beat both of them. But anyway, in the red corner, for Nopi, we got the Orange Triceratops. Nopi currently sitting top of this group. A win for Nopi will keep them top of this group. Okay, we are on the meadow. Which is bad news. Well, for both of these guys, because they both have fire dinosaurs. This will be interesting. Backing up the trike, we got the Eocarcaria. Hmm. Does that put this match in Arctic Warriors' favour? Because... At first, in the blue corner for Arctic Warriors, we got the Alpha Kentrosaurus. It may not be the Alpha Arena, but I feel like that's a terrain disadvantage for Nopi. And the fact that this Kentrosaurus will have type advantage over the Triceratops. Does that swing this match in Arctic Warriors' favour? Well, I'm sure they'd, be, they'd love to have the Alpha Arena be the jackpot for them, but not this time. Backing up the Kentro, we got Alpha Acrocampasaurus. Ooh, this could be interesting, huh? They both want to swap when HP is below half as well. So I, it could come down to who gets the early momentum here. Really intriguing match this could be. Really close. I do think the type advantage may give Arctic Warriors the upper hand here. Oh, especially when they get the first hit. I mean, Kendrasaurus is balanced, but yeah, balanced dinosaurs can sometimes do a lot of damage. Ooh, but the trite responds with a neck crusher. Oosh. Ooh, well, we've got trading blows so far. But it's Arctic Warriors getting the next hit there. Taking the trice HP below half and getting off an Earth Barrier. Ooh, a screw turning moment that could be, because now it's time to swap out the trike, but will Nopi get the swap? He will get the swap, which is actually not great, because the Kentrosaurus will hit with a crept when the Eocarcaria comes in. And at least the Earth Barrier will be eaten up. Um, that's probably bang on half, so we won't be attempting to swap yet, but... Terrain disadvantage means that the Kentro will get the next hit. <coughs> Another Earth Barrier coming as well. The throat went dry there. Ooh, Arctic Warriors though, getting hit by another crit. The Earth Barrier will limit the damage. I actually forgot this Eocock area does have Death Fire to call upon if it needs it. Oop, that's a tie. Oh, it's a crit! I mean, the saving grace for Arctic Warriors is that the Acro won't get hit with a terrain disadvantage. Because they'll cancel each other out. Ooh, Arctic Warriors, oh, gets off the firebomb. So yeah, Arctic Warriors dodging the terrain disadvantage there because even when the Triceratops comes in... Oh, look at that. Oh, that's pitiful. Even when the Triceratops comes in, it won't get that free hit on the Acro. Oh, but Eocarcari again, the hit. Gonna swap out into Triceratops. Chipping away at the Alpha Acro there. 
Oh, that's a, tra that's a tie. Ooh, I feel like Nopin is slightly on top here, but that can change very quickly. Like that. That's how quick it can change. A burning dash coming in and, well, the Triceratops is dead. So the Eocarcaria is coming back in. Oh, look at that. Okay, now Arctic Warriors has the slightly, well, it's pretty much level pecking. Could this end in a draw? Oh, it's a tie. Oh, we got heat eruption. Eocarcaria again off the heat eruption. That will put Nopi back in the driving seat. Volcano Burst Effect. Yep, that's probably going to be game over for Arctic Warriors unless they get this hit. But the odds are now in Nopi's favour. Oh, but Arctic Warriors gets the hit! Is a Magma Blast that's going to be lethal? The voice has gone high! The Eocark area falls and it's Arctic Warriors snatching victory! A snatched victory there for Arctic Warriors and well, I said at the start that they had the slight edge, and well, th that was the slight edge, because the Acro was on the brink of death. Nope, it will, however, get a losing bonus point. So there you go, a nice little consolation prize. But that will, I think, put Arctic Warriors top of this group. Well, for the time being, we'll see how this final match ends. Ooh. Well, um, not good for the Skrill. In the red corner, we have the Shunasaurus. We're on the arid field. Don't see this field often. Which is not very good if you have a water dinosaur. <laughs> of course, backing up the Shunasaurus, we do have the Gastonia, which will have terrain advantage. And it's probably gonna have a, to play a big part here if the squirrel's gonna want, if the squirrel's gonna win this match. And a win for Skrill will put them level on points with Dino Smash and Try. Well, in fact, they'll put them above Try if they win this match. But not above Dino Smash. Oh, we could have another one of these again, can't we? Right, in the blue corner, for Try, we have got the Pentaceratops. Pentaceratops will start with a crit. It has a Titan advantage over Shunasaurus as well. Good, good chance for Try to open an early lead here. Backing up Pentaceratops, we got Terry. Dinotector Terry. Didn't see the Dinotector in round three. Actually, no, I think we did. No, we didn't. The Diceratops killed it too quickly. But we did see it in rounds one and two, which basically was the reason why Try won those two matches. A win for Try. We'll, we'll put them through to the last 32 round, along with Arctic Warriors and Noki. What am I doing? What am I doing? Terrain disadvantage, dumbass. Oh well, it <laughs> generated the same anyway, so I don't have to start again. Yay! <laughs> oh my god, the bloopers I made in this tournament is just embarrassing. Right, um, right, yes, it's time to swap out the Shunasaurus, and quite frankly, I think time the Skrill needs to swap it out. And he does swap it out. A crucial swap that could be. Getting Gastonia in there. Gastonia does have the terrain advantage and it has type advantage over Pentaceratops. A very good swap there with a the Skrill. Right, let's get the terrain advantage out first. Make sure I don't balls it up like I almost did the first one. Ooh, good damage done there. Okay, not time to swap out Penta yet. Ooh, Pentaceratops landing a lightning strike. Won't do as much damage as it normally would. The type disadvantage there. Blech. Yeah, look at that. Oh, hello. We got Terry coming in with a volcano burst. The support effect. Adding extra damage there. Ooh, but. The Gastonia lands another hit. Right, now it's time to swap out Pentaceratops. Oh, he gets the swap along with the crit. Oh, look at the damage. Decent amount of damage done there. 
Ooh, this is interesting. I feel like Try just about has the lead, but that can all change very quickly here. Oh, as a tie, that's probably going to kill the Gastonia. Yep, there it goes. Well, Shunasaurus comes in, but remember, it's got terrain disadvantage, so Terry is going to get off a crit, and it's going to be a burning dash. Type advantage might... will spear some damage, but... Oh, that's going to put Tri well in control of this match. Oh, hello. We might, oh, we might have just won. Oh, look at the Flare Sword finishing off Shunasaurus. Oh, that was crucial. That hit from Ter Terry on the Gaston. Well, the tie was crucial. Gave Try the opening it to win the match and get a bonus point win while they're at it. Well, that shakes things up in Group G, doesn't it? And that means that Try, Arctic Warriors and Notebee are all safely through to the last 32 round. Right, let's have a look at group. Let's have a look at how the group stands. Well, that's how Group G looks, ladies and gentlemen. We got Try topping it with 11 points there after our big bonus point win. Arctic Warriors in second on 10 points. In fact, these two have to play each other in round 5, so that's going to be one hell of a match. Then we have Nopi in third place, also booking their last 32 spot there, 5 clear of the Skrell. Dino Smash clinging on to fourth there on 7 points. They did get a losing bonus point, which at this minute is crucial because it puts them free clear of the Skrill and Light Fury. So yeah, Dino Smash three points ahead of the Skrill and Light Fury. Still all to play for. Right, let's see how round five shapes up. So round five, ooh, a big game between the Light Fury and Notebeat. Light Fury needs to win. Doesn't need the bonus point win, just needs to win to give themselves a chance. If they do win, they'll go above Dino Smash by virtue of the head-to-head. -head. Of course then, a massive game Actually, uh, actually, yeah, they'll probably need a bonus point win, actually, to give themselves a realistic chance. Because Dino Smash and the Skrill will be facing each other. And that is going to be huge. A win for Dino Smash takes them safely through. And will knock these two out. But a win for the Skrill will knock Dino Smash out of the tournament. And then we will conclude with a clash at the top. Arctic Warriors versus Try. The winner will top Group G. Which could be which could be crucial because you want to finish top of your group because you'll in theory get an easier matchup and actually I'll have to double check I'll double check the last 32 matchups real quick. Whoever tops group G will face whoever finishes fourth in group H and whoever finishes runner up in group G will face whoever finishes third in group D. But yeah, that's going to end this session. So I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like. Thanks for watching and until next time, ta ta. Mm -hmm.